InsideThunder.com, powered by iHeartMedia, Oklahoma City. Morning, everybody. Um, well, first and foremost, I uh, want to welcome everyone here this morning as we introduce uh, Cameron to uh, the Thunder and uh, the Oklahoma City community. want to thank his family and friends for joining us today. We also want to take the opportunity to thank Devin uh, for, the, uh, for the space we're, we're all gathered in here uh, this morning. Obviously a wonderful building. They've been a great partner of our organization and a great supporter of, uh, of the community in Oklahoma City. Um, <clears throat> thought I would say a few words and then I'll turn it over to Cameron for, uh, for a couple words from him. Uh, first, as we went through uh, this process, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge again uh, the work that our entire staff has done uh, on this draft and past drafts as well. Uh, we've got a great group of people. Um, uh, working all throughout the year. In fact, they're already started to work on next year's draft, um, and everyone plays a role in these decisions. So it's really important that I stress that um, again, that uh, our front office and everyone in basketball operations uh, really uh, teams together. Uh, we thought, as we were looking uh, at players for this draft, we had to think about someone that would be a great fit, not only for our team, our organization, or our community, but that had the right makeup uh, to come into the stage of the team that we're in right now. Uh, someone that had uh, competitiveness, uh, a real strong base of character, someone that would be able to uh, bring a, a competitive work ethic day in and day out. Uh, and the more people we talked to, the more time we spent uh, watching and evaluating, Cameron became a real player of interest for us. Um, <clears throat> as a player, uh, obviously most people know him. He's incredibly cerebral. He understands space on the floor. He understands angles. He understands time. Uh, all these things that are really hard to teach, uh, he has those things kind of intuitively. Uh, as a person, uh, he was equally impressive to us. Um, we did an incredible amount of background work on him and the the base of character that he has uh, from his family uh, is very impressive uh, and the fact that he's been incredibly consistent with who he has been he uh, you know one of the things we've really and we've talked about this uh, he's he has no assumptions he doesn't feel entitled to anything uh, he's had to work for everything that he's had but most importantly um, if you speak to people that have known him throughout his life um, he's the same guy so the fact that he's enjoyed uh, a rapid ascent hasn't changed him at all. And we think that's an incredibly attractive piece to this player uh, because that's going to be another piece of the foundation that he begins with as he tries to take the next step in his professional basketball career. Um, and one, one side note I think that really helped uh, in, this, in this process for us is he had the opportunity to spend a, a, about a day and a half in Oklahoma City because he had time in between uh, our visit and the next one and we spent a lot of time um, you know I think he spent a lot of time kind of observing uh, the organization as well as the community we spent time at the um, at the memorial uh, up the road here uh, we talked a lot about the importance of the thunder and the role it plays in the city in the state and I think it really resonated with him because he's coming from uh, a school at Murray State where basketball and the basketball program carries a, a, a larger cause as well and we had great conversations about that it really struck me how this um, this concept resonated with him it was really natural with him um, and that was really encouraging really really encouraging for us as we work through this process so um, with that uh, I'd like to welcome Cameron Payne to the Thunder in Oklahoma City um, congratulations First, I want to just thank God for giving me the opportunity to play this game and to um, make it to the NBA. Uh, it's a lifelong dream, and uh, man, I'm just happy and I'm proud, man, to be here. 
I want to thank my, my family. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, Y'all raised me the right way, and uh, everybody's starting to see that. And um, it's just, it feels good to be a pain, and I'm looking forward to carrying on that legacy. And uh, man, the organization, um, it's a great organization, man, I'm about to be a part of, and um, I, I feel it fits me perfectly. Um, coming from a small school, it's just, I'm going this whole great situation. And um, man, y'all have a great staff here. And I'm really looking forward to get to know you guys. Got a great new coach, um, great owner. And I mean, uh, I wouldn't I want one any other way to be a part of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Any questions? Sam mentioned the uh, day and a half that you spent here. What do you just remember about that time? Uh, well, when I first got here, uh, I seen Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. <laughs> So, I mean, that was the big time plus right off the rip. And um, they greeted me by my name. I mean, I was starstruck from the beginning already. Um, but, man, we, we, we went to go see the memorial. I mean, everybody on the staff was just welcoming me with open arms and just being very communicative with me, just being happy, you know. And um, we went down to the memorial, and uh, Sam was telling me a lot of things about uh, what the city is about. And, um, man, it's crazy what had happened on that day at 9.02. Um, but, I mean, this this city and what they do for the Thunder is great because, I mean, the whole city is coming together. And they come every night to watch the Thunder play. And, I mean, <laughs> it's just fantastic, man. It feels like a big-time college out here the way, man, the fans come out and support every night. Uh, especially from watching. Uh, I mean, I'm from Memphis and Oklahoma, o Oklahoma City. That's the uh, rival almost. And, man, it's good to be a part of this team to go against those guys. And <laughs> but, I mean, uh, my, my visit was great. Uh, Coach Billy, uh, he talked to me a lot about how he grew up. And uh, he said we kind of had the similar story um, about being overlooked and um, stand with the process and trusting it, not giving up, um, and just keep believing in yourself. But all in all, it was a great uh, day and a half. Hey, Susan Bible, Basketball Insiders. How do you think it's going to feel when you step out onto that NBA court for the first time? Uh, it's going to feel great. It's going to feel like everything has came together. Um, I'll be a way much better player. And, uh, man, just to see the fans all around me, and I seen that I, man, done all this work, and I, I got to the point where I wanted to be, um, it's just going to be a blessing. I mean, it's going to be a crazy night, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Myron Patton, Fox 25. A lot of first-round guys want to come in and think they can they can play right away, start, if not that. But here you got a couple, you got an all-star point guard, a veteran backup. You say you, this is a perfect situation for you. Why do you feel that way? Uh, well, Russell Westbrook, one of the best guards in the in the nation, and um, also Kevin Durant, also one of the best players, the best scorers ever. And um, to be a part of this team, now I get to learn from Russell, and I get to learn from Kevin. And um, I'm just coming here, whatever role is placed on me, whatever coach needs me to do, I'm down to do it. Um, but the main thing, I'm just gonna come in and work hard and do the best that I can. And just trust my, trust the process. If it's me not playing, that's what I got to do. I got to live with it. But um, I'm just looking forward to learning, and I'm, I'm just ready to get started. Murray Evans, Associated Press. You talked a little bit about being overlooked coming out of a mid-major. Um, are you kind of encouraged to see some of the success that some of the mid-major point guards have had in the league the last few years, like Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, and those guys? Definitely. Uh, I feel that those guys set the tone for a lot of mid-major players. Um, Damian Lillard came in rookie of the year, and um, he came from Weber State. Then you got um, Steph Curry, MVP, world champion, and also, man, uh, Alfred Payton. Um, his stock rose during the draft, and I feel I'm in that same situation where my stock rose. And um, if you look at all those guys, they trusted the process. And now they're one of the big-time names in NBA. 
Randy Renner, NBA.com and InsideThunder.com. Sam has spoken about your court vision and the anticipation that you have and a lot of the other stories that have been written about you talk about that as well. Is that just a natural ability that you have or is that something that you've been able to work on over the years? Um, honestly, that's a God-gifted ability. Um, but, I mean, I grew up in a household full of point guards. And uh, my dad, he was the first point guard of us all. And he taught me very young, um, you got to get everybody involved. <laughs> so I, I grew up being a team player. And um, that's all I know. So, I mean, me being able to see the court and things like that, this guy gifted. But it's also I was taught at an early age. Cameron, uh, Curtis Fitzpatrick, Sports Animal. Yeah, Russell has his own unique skill set as a point guard. You do as well. What what can you take from his game, though, and the way he handles himself specifically when you move forward as a player? Oh, uh, man, he, he's so explosive. Um, I feel um, competing every day against him, he's going to get me better. And um, uh, he, he has one of the best mid-range games in the game right now. And uh, I, that's, 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 that's some of the things I have to add to my game, being explosive. I got to get more athletic and uh, working on my mid-range game and um, trying to take less floaters and take more mid-range jump shots. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. And for those of us who've never been to Murray, Kentucky, tell us a little bit about the place and the and the basketball program and the basketball culture around Murray State. Uh, first off, well, the city, um, it's a small city. It was about five miles, <laughs> five miles long. But um, that's a small town where everyone knows everyone, and it really helped me a lot to always come in. I want to go get some food, and I I know the person by name, and uh, we have a, a tight relationship, and that's where. Is ranked the friendliest city. <laughs> it's ranked one of the friendliest city in America. So that tells you, man, that man, everyone's down there just want to get to know you, just want to know who you are, and just want to see you all the time and just have fun with you. And every time we had a basketball game, we the only we don't we we really the only big time team at Murray. And when it was time for us to play, everyone came down to watch us play. And what's crazy is that it's similar down here in uh, Oklahoma City, where when Oklahoma plays their their game, everyone's coming to the game to watch them play. And um, Murray State man has it has been the best um, best thing I've done in my life. Um, I'm so happy that I chose that school because, uh, I mean, it, it made me grow as a man. And um, I learned so much there. And uh, Coach Prome and their coaching staff and the players, uh, they taught me a lot of things about life and, and made me a better person of who I am today. You had to narrow down maybe just to one word. What do you, what, as far as your biggest challenge for your rookie season, what would that be? Time. <laughs> Time just because, I mean, I got to come in and get better. I got I to gotta be a better player, and it's a process, so. Um, I'm going to be learning from some, from some great players, so time's going to make me better. Anthony Slater with Oklahoma. Uh, your finger, I know it's it's kind of got a fracture right now. Where is that at, and do you have any hopes of playing in the summer league? Uh, well, um, to, uh, on Monday, uh, we're going to see uh, the physician, and uh, we're going to have a lot more information about um, my process from there.